Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. Today we're jumping back into DaVinci Resolve, doing another tutorial because you guys seem to absolutely love them. And we're taking a look at how to create that locked on stabilization effect that you see in those Beats commercials. This one was actually recommended by one of the viewers of the channel, Brian Mead. So thanks for reaching out. Again, if there is anything you guys want to learn specifically in DaVinci Resolve, please leave comments in the videos. I do my very best to bring them to you because I feel like there's no point me just bringing useless videos out. I want to actually bring value to you guys, even if it means only one person values from it. So Brian, thanks for reaching out. This one's for you. So the effect I'm talking about is when basically you track an object in the frame and then you stabilize the clip around that object. It's a very creative technique to draw attention to specific objects in the scene. That's why they use it in the Beats commercials. It draws your attention to the Beats headphones and it's a pretty artsy way to do it. And best of all, it's really easy to actually accomplish. So let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve. All right guys, so to accomplish this effect, you'll be surprised at how easy it actually is. So what we're gonna do is jump into DaVinci Resolve and here I have this clip, just a stock bit of footage of a girl walking. She's got some headphones in and there's a little bit of camera movement as well. So it should be pretty easy. Now, the good thing about this shot as well is that the subject is quite centered and the frame is also quite wide. And that is definitely key when trying to accomplish this effect because we do end up shrinking that frame down a fair bit. So the wider the shot, the better because then you can frame the subject more centered. Anyway, so with the playhead over the footage you want to accomplish this effect with, jump over to Fusion. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly rename the footage to headphone. I do that just because it's smart to keep everything organized. Now, select the media in node, shift space and type in tracker. So we're gonna add a tracker to the scene and we're gonna position this tracker. Make sure you're at the start of the composition. I'm gonna position the tracker over the headphone. Now, for some reason, DaVinci Resolve is glitching on me at the moment. So I'm going to use the window over in the inspector to position my tracker. And I'm just going to position it more or less centered on the AirPod there and just resize it to include the whole AirPod in the frame and just resize that like so. Scroll up and track forward. All right, so now that that's finished tracking, we want to head on over to the inspector in the tracker, go to the operations menu. And this is what we generally do when we use a tracker anyway and change it to match move. Now here's where things get a little bit different. So the way the tracker works is it's similar to a merge node in the sense that it has a background, a foreground, also has a mask input and then output. Exact same as a merge node. And you can see here under the operation, we have the function of how it works as a merge node. Currently it's set to foreground over background. What that means is anything plugged into the foreground, so the green arrow of the tracker, will utilize the operation of the tracker. If we were to say drag a text node down and plug it into the foreground, and type something straight away, it's gonna match the motion of the headphones, all right? So because we are plugging it into the foreground of the tracker and the way it currently is set is foreground over background. But you'll notice it's a drop down box. And if we drop that down, we can change it. So we can do foreground only, background only, background over foreground. If we do background only, anything plugged into the yellow triangle, so the input or the background will match the movement of the tracker. Now, currently the footage is plugged into the background. So naturally, if we go background only, all of a sudden, if we click off and we hit play, now the footage, although it looks a little bit weird at the moment, it is following the movement of the tracker. Now, obviously we do have a little bit of an error here. And this is what we we're talking about at the start is that because we are zooming in and punching in and moving around this media clip, we have a lot of this gray area, all right? So we wanna cover that up. Quite easy to do that. All we wanna do is select the tracker, hit shift space and add a transform node. And we're literally, all you wanna do now is scrub through your footage and find the point where the majority of the clip, you know, is out of the frame like so. And all we're gonna do is with the transform node is we're going to resize and reposition it like so and keep it centered. And basically we're gonna play back until we have a usable clip. And you know, this is where you wanna play through. So you don't wanna zoom in too much. So you just go back and zoom out and that looks pretty good. Jumping across to the edit page. Now we have our locked on stabilization to the head of that girl. And this works for any object in a scene. Like I said, really easy to accomplish. So there you go, guys. Another tutorial done and dusted. Told you it was gonna be super easy. Hopefully you followed along all right and you can accomplish this effect on your own now. 
if Fusion is something that you're really interested in, I do have a course as well as some free templates that you can download at, in my Cellfi store. So the link for that is in the top line of the description. So check that out. It also supports me and, you know, helps me create more free content for you guys like this video here. Hit that thumbs up button if this video was helpful and leave a comment down below. Make sure, you know, if there is anything, even if you think it is so specific that no one will do it, leave a comment and I'll try my very best to bring my, that video to you. For example, a few months ago, someone asked if I could create that Ben TK transition. Only one person asked me to make that video and I went out of my way and I made that video specifically for that person and a lot of you guys really enjoyed it and that's the goal here with this channel is to bring value to you guys specifically. So reach out, contact me. Hey, if you don't want to drop a comment, you can DM me on Instagram and you know, I have been known to just answer questions like that. So, you know, do that as well. We will have a few more videos dropping this week. One of them is gonna be a bit more on organization, creating folders in DaVinci Resolve so you can organize your templates and all that sort of stuff. So subscribe if you wanna see videos like that. And until next one, guys, see ya.